Hello, my name is Daniel Norin, uh, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about how to reversing a sales invoice. Uh, there are multiple ways to do this, uh, and I can sh show you a little bit more complex way and uh, finish up with, by showing some of the simpler approaches. Uh, we can start by actually creating a sales uh, invoice. So doing that from the sales order. Pressing new. Daniel, oh, I'm using my existing customer. And an existing. So, taking 10. Then I'm posting this, uh, this order to create a sales invoice. And both ship and invoice at the same time. Pressing OK. Uh, I don't need to open invoice, but we can look at the posted invoice. Over here, posted sales invoice. And this is the latest one that we created right now. 10 of consulting. So one way of reversing this transaction, if you've done, did something wrong, is to go to sales credit memo. Over here, and create a new credit memo. Input my name, and then there is a copy document function call under prepare. So I press this one. It's important that we want to, you need to select uh, the document type post invoice over here, and then we can look up uh, this document that we wish to reverse. And it was the last one that we created. This one, press OK. Then I choose to include the same header as we, we actually uh, so it's going to be reverse it completely press ok and as you can see so it included all the lines even have a reference to the invoice number and if i post this transaction now that the, the entire invoice will be reversed so that's the more complex way of doing it uh, this was the one this was the approach that you had you know several years ago when they introduced navigation i don't think they had any other alternative but over the years they've int introduced a number of alternatives to this uh, approach which are much easier and uh, these can be found from the posted invoice section so if you want to reverse an invoice the best approach is actually to go to to post the sales invoice uh, the archive and look at one of the documents that you wish to, to reverse and over here there's a correction button if you press the correction button there are three alternatives and they differ slightly but the good thing is when when you're hovering over and then you get a detailed description of what they're what they're doing and i think that the, the cancel one uh, represented the approach that we did now uh, it's just reversing the, the transaction completely uh, so we can start by taking one of the, the invoices another one that i created in advance and try, just press cancel um ask you it's telling it what is pressing yes to, to confirm this selection this will uh, now post the reversing transaction. I don't wish to see it. Uh, one thing to notice over here is that uh, if you're going to this column over here and look at the cancel, you see that this has been reversed. And it's highlighted with a yes, yes over there. Uh, two alternative way to, ways to to perform reverse uh, reverse transaction is to uh, either the correction mode or the uh, create corrective credit memo. Here you can cre create a, a reverse credit memo and you can change it if, if you want to reduce the number. If you, if you don't want to, if you don't, if you just, if you just did correctly a little bit, if you said, for, for example, 10 items and you want to reduce it to nine, it's possible by reversing the, the credit memo over here. Then it would actually open the, the credit memo in, in in editable mode so you can uh, do some changes before posting it. And there's also corrective mode. Here, here it's doing the reversion of the credit memo uh, and it furthermore open a blank uh, sales invoice so you can do 
modifications over here. Uh, we can have a look at this one because this is a bit interesting. Uh, so I take this one and you can notice that this hasn't already been reversed. So I just press correct. Ask whether I want to continue or not. I press yes. So now it's uh, posting the credit memo, create, create the credit memo, post the credit memo, and it opens, as you can see, a plan, you know, a copy of the, this sales invoice over here. And uh, now I have the ability to change anything before I post it again. So I can say, okay, I want to increase the number because of, this was a mistake. So increase the 25 and thereafter I post it uh, in normal fashion. Yes. Don't want to look at it. Uh, and now we can see this is the new invoice that was created with the 25. One thing that I think is a bit strange that I noticed is that we have this cancel alternative here, which actually say uh, displays a yes if it has been cancelled. No, I would expect it to behave similar from a corrective approach. But uh, even though I take the correct mode here, it's not it's not showing anything. But yes, I'm not sure if this, but it is. Maybe I'm missing something, but I'm not sure why it doesn't show anything. But at least it actually reversed the things, and these are multiple ways to achieve the, the similar kind of uh, thing. We have like four different ways. You can either manually create everything, or you can ask the system, you know, three, three different ways of re re reversing transactions. So that's it. Uh, Thank you very much. Bye-bye.